Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Good evening, dear friends, and welcome to Kardec Radio. We are here in this time to pray together, to make this connection with the good spirits, our guardian angel, and especially with the legion of Mother Mary that is here joining us joining forces with us in order for us to feel the blessings, the opportunities that Master Jesus, our governor of this planet, has provided to us in this Thursday. So welcome to our daily prayer at 6 p.m. I hope you are well and just take a deep breath breathing in and out have your water next to you and let us pray together to receive these blessings hello daniel hello beth let us close our eyes in order to pray and ask for us to be open to receive these blessings of today. Dear mentors, please guide us and help us to understand the messenger and the teachings that is coming for us from this beautiful book. Help us open our heart, our mind, ears, and help us to put in action all the teachings that we are receiving, those tools that it comes to us daily to help us and guide us when we need to work and co-create with you, dear Father. Dear Mother Mary and your legion, doctors and nurses, our guardian angel, please help us to understand the teachings of today and so be it. So welcome friends and today the chapter is called Be Patient. How patient are we? We need to study over and over this chapter, all the chapters, right? In order to help us to understand more about those virtues that we are being called daily, right? So let us read, dear friends, this beautiful chapter that is chapter 129 from the Bill Living Spring. If you have the book with you, please follow me on this reading, okay? So be patient. You need patient, patience so that after you have done God's will, you may receive the promise. Paul, Hebrew 10, 36. You have probably been holding on the tormental hope for a long time. You would like the world's answers for, to your longing to appear immediately enfolding your heart. However, what kind of peace could you enjoy 
In the apparent triumph of your dreams, if you have not redeemed the debts that chain you to problems and difficulties, how can you have a moment's rest when your creditor is demanding payment? Could a criminal find rest in light of the due reparation for the crime he or she has committed? You know that destiny will materialize your plans for happiness. The victor, victory will finally crown your pathway of struggle. But you find yourself bound to the circle of certain obligations. Your home, which has become a forge of anguish, your workplace, where you suffer slander and cruelty. The family member to whom you own respect and love, but from whom you receive scorn and ingratitude. The web of obstacles. The conspiracy of the darkness. Needless persecution. The infirmity of the body. The imposition of your environment, env environment. If trials has imprisoned you behind restraining bars of duty, you have to fulfill. Be patient. Incentify the obligations you have embraced. Do not renounce your renewed endeavors. Remember that God's will is expressed each hour in the circumstances that surround us. Let us, pray, let us pay our debts to the darkness so that the light may bless us. Yes, we will accomplish the materialization of our plans for happiness. But before that, we must patiently liquidate the debts that we have contracted before the law. So, friends, be patient. Huh? We want everything to be solved very fast. But once again, Emmanuel, which through Chico Xavier, comes to give us even more um, information about the patience. We need to work in this virtual, right? And we mentioned in many times that if we lost patience, that means we never had it, right? So we are still on phase one in this stage of life in which we are working, right? Daily, hourly, to acquire those virtues. So in this reincarnation, maybe we can pick one virtue to develop throughout our life. So here's the call for us to, to learn and to feel right about being patient. We need to, to work hard to, to acquire this virtue because it's not easy. So the message comes to tell us, right? How, hmm, how can we enjoy peace huh? if we have not redeemed our debts and we are still chained to problems and difficulties? So here is a recipe for us. That in order for us to be patient, we need to work on our difficulties and in our debts. As we know, we have been reincarnated many times, right? This is one of our reincarnation. And sometimes, most of the times, we do not remember about our debts. So we need to work on it. And the best way is to know who we are, see 
our tendencies, see what we like to do, what we do automatically, and start or working on it to see if we are aligned with God's teachings, we are aligned with the message that we are receiving from the good spirits, from the mentors, right? So let us always remember that Master Jesus is our guide and model. He's always teaching us, and he is our north. So we need to look at Jesus Christ and see how he was living his life in order for us to have guidance, have like goals in life. So we need to work on the problems that we had in order for us to, to achieve this peace, right? peace in our mind, in our hearts. We need to be coherent. We need to be doing and thinking and acting, right? All in the same way, because if we're thinking about one way, but we're acting in the other way, we're living in this stress, we're changing how we, we should be living. So let us work on this achieving this peace, but we need to work, right, little by little on our um, problems and difficulties that we have. And here he also say, how can we have moments of rest when our debt creditors is demanding payments, right? So how can we be resting if our people are knocking our doors, right, to ask demanding us for payments, right? And this is, can be in the physical realm and also can be in the spiritual realm. Sometimes we have a perfect material life, right? We are reincarnated, there is no problem, but we're still feeling those different feelings in our heart. And this is how we need to, to see if we need to address spiritually or physically, right? We know we were not in a, a perfect spirit, this reincarnation is one of the greatest reincarnation that we have because we know about spiritism and we are receiving those tools from the good mentors. The good spirits are always guiding us. So this reincarnation, it is the best one we had, right? So we need to address and see what we need to, to pay, right, from the past. We are always uh, paying for our debts. We're still working on it. So we need to hope work a lot in this journey because Master Jesus is saying that we, in order for we, us to acquire this patient, we need to work, work hard work hard, see who we are, see what we need to, to change in order to be patient. And it's beautiful when he said, remember that God's will is expressing each hour in the circumstances that surround us. So we are always, always receiving help from God, from his um, emissaries, right? We are never alone. We are always receiving guidance. So we just need to have this good will and work on it. So we need, uh, let us pay our debts to darkness there so that the light may bless us. So as we start working and paying all the debts that we have, Everybody has different debts. And once we do that, this light will bless us, right? We'll feel these blessings even more deeper in our soul. So we'll feel even better, right? Lighter. Just like when we, we make this effort to come here and pray with the good mentors when we are receiving blessings through all the prayer, we feel lighter, we feel that we are shining within. So we need to work and take uh, time on our day and see what we could be doing to address 
all these things that are holding us down because we need to let it go. We need it to change our lives so that we can be more light, more blessed. So yes, we will accomplish the materialization of our plans for happiness, but we, but before that, we must patiently liquidate the debts we have con contracted before the law. So the law here, friends, is a capital letter law. So this is the law of God, the law of the Creator, the law of love. So it doesn't matter if the law the the state that we live in or the country that we live in approve of what we are doing. And it is against the law of the creator. We are we know that we need to work on this, right? Because this law from God is always the same. It never changes, it never takes sides. It's just this law, this law of just. So we need to align ourselves so that we can be doing everything that we are doing daily based on this law. We need to be doing good, following the guidance, following Master Jesus. He's our guidance, he's our model, and only there we will be able to get examples and apply to our lives. So let us work on being patient. Let us study about Master Jesus, how patient he was, he is to us, right? He came all the way from the heavens to be an example, to be our guiding. And when he came, he was so patient and loving to one to all of us. And now is we are receiving this call so that we can be working and acquire this virtue for our life. So let us uh, think about it and see how important patience is for us. Because we know we need a lot of patience to live in this reincarnation. So let us press on, friends, and be optimistic that we can follow and learn with Master Jesus and continue our journey, our life in this beautiful reincarnation that we had. So let us pray, friends. Let us close our eyes. Have your water near you so that the good spirits can bless the water, bless us, and heal us in this moment in time. So let us close our eyes. Dear Mother, dear Father God, doctors and nurses, we are all here humbly asking for your guidance and for your blessings. Dear Mother Mary, with your love and care to each one of us as your own children. We feel this loving embrace and in your arms we can see this light showering upon us, permeating our spiritual body and coming through our physical body. This light cleans and re-energize 
and recycle the energies in our fair spirit, our physical body, all the connections that we made throughout this day that is not a good one is being dissolved in this moment in time. And as we feel ourselves free, freer from this lower connection that we made, together with the good spirits, we can feel the warmth of this healing light healing us healing our family healing everything and everyone in both realms of life in our home and now we visualize our house illuminating gold light to all our neighborhood, our state, our country, all the other countries are receiving this healing energy as well. And as every country is blessed with this healing light, we can see our whole planet Earth being enveloped of healing energies. Our planet is shining and being blessed We can feel the different vibration that it comes to us in this moment. And as we keep vibrating and receiving these blessings, these healing energies, In gratitude, gratitude we pray to all our brothers and sisters in greater need. We pray especially for our enemies, the ones that we made wrongdoings in this life or other lives, we ask for forgiveness. May they forgive us as we are learning to forgive them as well. We also would like to pray for all criminals in both realms of life. We pray for the criminal, criminals against the law of God. May we all receive mercy as we work on it to align with this beautiful law of love. We also like to pray for everyone that are in hospitals, in clinics, or even to the brothers and sisters that are sick and ill in their homes. May those doctors and nurses are able to apply and give the remedies that are necessary for their being. We pray, dear Father, for all parents so that they can have strength 
and may they receive guidance from above so that they can fulfill this beautiful mission of parenthood in this reincarnation. We would like to pray for all kids. May they also be able to fulfill their mission in this life, being able to listen and learn from Master Jesus and from their parents so that they can be the change of this planet and help planet Earth in this transition to become a world of regeneration. Dear Father, we pray for everyone that is working non-stop for the good. May they feel your blessings and may they be protected of all darkness and some vibrations that brings them down. Please protect each worker, co-creator of you, of your master, of you master, protecting and guiding each one of them so that they can fulfill this beautiful mission of the good in this life. And with your permission, dear doctors, dear mentors, dear nurses, guardian angel, we would like to ask the permission of closing this moment of praying and healing. And so be it. So dear friends, be in peace, be patient, Learn how to be patient with our dear Master Jesus and his whole team that is here guiding us daily. Remember, we are never alone and we are always being guided by good mentors like we were in just this moment in time. So believe in God and believe in the guidance of the mentors that we can do the good and continue co-creating with the good spirits with this creator bye friends have a good thursday and we'll be here tomorrow with our prayer again at 6 p.m be in peace friends goodbye erica narciso justin Teresa, daisy veronica beth and daniel Thank you for being here and God bless you all. Bye friends.